Welcome to my Principles of Biology uh, 1 or Bio 103 uh, Canvas page. Uh, let me uh, take you a little on a little tour around it and tell you what you need to do uh, before our first class. Uh, excuse me, not our first class, but our, our well, our second class. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. Well, this is our home page. And, of course, I'm Dr. Shane Evans, and this is when our class is. Obviously, you should know that it's every Monday night, 5.30 to 7.30, in room 205, which is the biology lab upstairs. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see a, a copy of our textbook. Now, we do have our own little custom textbook. Uh, it's custom made. It took out a lot of those sheets, but if you're looking for... Uh, the full big thing, uh, you can actually order that online. We use a, a slightly older edition, so you might get that cheaper than what we have available in the bookstore. So I would check Amazon and uh, also check the prices for used books, to, uh, used books um, for, um, at the bookstore. Um, this is our, uh, our set of modules, and uh, we're going to go and start here. That's what that means. That's the first place you start when you arrive here for the first time. You also notice that I have a whole big set of modules here. Each module covers a different topic. For example, you'll see the first one water, second one pH, third one carbohydrates, then lipids, then proteins, and enzymes, and nucleic acids, and so on and so forth. And they go clear down. I have 18 of them clear down to genetics. Now, on each one of these modules, you'll notice that I have the chapter sections. These are chapters in the book and the little sections that cover the material. Uh, most of the material that I cover in class uh, is, is pretty much taken straight from our textbook. So the textbook is an excellent, excellent resource for better understanding the material. So I would strongly encourage you uh, to read those chapter sections. As you can see, they're not very long, and uh, they're uh, excellently written and clarified. So I would uh, take advantage of the, uh, of the textbook and read those sections as we cover each, each particular little topic. So let's go up to the start here. And if we click on that, you can click anywhere, so I'll just click here. And you'll see a, a nice little outline form. Whoops. <laughs> Let me come back to that. There we go. So let's go back down to the start here. There we go. For some reason, it's taken me clear down to the bottom, but we're okay. There we are. We're up at the top. Now, you'll notice that I have a copy of our syllabus for you to actually take a look at. Um, the important thing about the syllabus, and usually I, I emphasize the syllabus because it, it, it tells us how your grade is calculated, uh, some of the policies on attendance and, and uh, makeups and that kind of stuff, so that's, that's important. In fact, uh, oftentimes I have students during the semester who will ask me questions that if they had looked at the syllabus, they would have known the answer right off the bat. So in order for you, so you don't have to go and, and ask questions, I would often uh, suggest that you go and look at the syllabus, and that'll give you a good idea and might be able to answer some of your questions without having to go and and track me down. Uh, in fact, I think the, I've taken out the most important parts of the syllabus and built a quiz around them. So you might notice that there's a little syllabus quiz there. Uh, that's a little 10 question uh, quiz. And in fact, you have to take it. In fact, it, the first unit on water will not open and the rest of the units will not open until you take that syllabus quiz and a couple other quizzes and, and parts, and I'll tell you about those. So after you uh, get to know the syllabus, 
um, take the syllabus quiz. All right. Um, you also notice that our second little line is a Quizlet class join link. Uh, Quizlet, if you've never uh, heard of Quizlet, is a fantastic um, site. It's kind of like electronic flashcards. Uh, we have found, research has shown, that the best way to study is to replicate the conditions of an exam. All right. If you think about how sports works, in sports there's a famous maxim that says practice how you play and play how you practice. So if you're going to be very competent in a, a game or a round or a match, all right, the best way to do it is try to replicate as closely as possible the conditions that will take place during those events. And the same thing with academics. Think about how you're going to be evaluated. You're going to be evaluated by quizzes and exams. And the best way to study is to replicate those conditions. And what that means is in quizzes and exams, you are expected to answer questions. So that's what Quizlet does. Quizlet is a set of over 3,000 questions that I've written that cover the, the, the breadth of this course. And to me, it's the best way to study. So in this case, if you click on that, it'll take you to Quizlet and allow you to join my class. So you'll have access to all those Quizlet questions. Since we are a, a science class and we do a couple of labs that include some uh, kind of uh, dangerous things, uh, semi-dangerous, slightly dangerous, uh, it's important that you understand some lab safety. So I have uh, a little list of just some rules that apply for labs. So you'll need to read those lab safety regulations. And again, there is a little lab safety quiz based on that. And again, you have to uh, pass that, that thing. And what I mean by pass is the syllabus quiz and the lab safety quiz, you have to get 100%. But you can take it multiple times. All right. So that's what those are. The last little thing on this list is the introduce yourself. Now, the introduce yourself will take you over here and I'll put my little pointer here to the discussions. And the introduce yourself basically is um, just so that other students and myself can better know you. Um, just a short little brief uh, paragraph, a few sentences uh, about yourself. And I have more information about that in an example there in the discussion. So in order for that first one to open, you've got to uh, Look at the syllabus and do the syllabus quiz, do the lab safety quiz, do the introduce yourself. All right. Um, the other thing that you've got to look at in order for it to, uh, to uh, open up is you have to go and visit the calendar. And if we open up the calendar, all right, The calendar actually goes and shows you what we're going to be doing uh, every Monday all right, for the rest of the semester. So you can see that our first day, we'll have a little introduction. We'll have our first activity. We'll be doing a microscopy lab. Of course, the 15th of January is a holiday. Um, we'll have a, uh, the Introduce Yourself is actually due on the 16th. And as you can see, we have some other things on the 22nd. We'll be having um, a little activity, um, water and pH lab, and uh, some quizzes on the water and pH. All right, so this little calendar is quite helpful. It'll show you what, what we're doing, what activities, and what quizzes that we'll be doing on that particular day. Okay, let's go back to our main page here. There we go. And I want to show you the uh, other parts of the canvas. For example, if we look here at water, all right, uh, you'll notice that at the top I have two recordings. These will link to Screencast-O-Matic 
lectures. So you'll actually go and watch these two. As a hybrid class, what a hybrid class means is that you'll be watching the lectures online and you can watch them through Canvas and then coming once a week for activities and for quizzes. All right. So that's what we'll be doing. Now, next to that, you'll see I have broken up that lecture into two parts. And then below that, I have a list of learning objectives. These learning objectives are some of the basic uh, concepts and things that you'll need to know for success in that particular unit. The last, um, your final exam will be a terms test. Um, this semester, we'll probably learn uh, close to 500 terms uh, in biology. How the final works is out of those 500, I will randomly pick um, 75. So I have 75 terms and 75 definitions. And the final exam will consist of you just matching those terms with the definitions. And so every unit has a list of terms. And these are the terms that might be appear on the comprehensive terms test. The other thing, too, these oftentimes biology is learning vocabulary. And a lot of our quiz questions and things like that are based on the vocabulary. So those terms are a fantastic way to learn the material. Um, all my lectures use PowerPoint. So I've actually put a little copy of PowerPoint, the PowerPoint lectures on the canvas so you can print them out. I would recommend that you print them out is you don't print them out one page at a time, that you actually go and put four or maybe even six. In fact, I like six per page because that will save a huge amount of paper and a huge amount of ink. So if you're going to go and print those out, set it up so it doesn't pre, you know, one slide per page. Print it out so you have... Uh, four to six slides per page, and that will save your printer, that will save the library's printer, uh, and uh, save a lot of trees. Also, uh, in addition to the lecture, I have some videos, some supplementary videos that go along with the lecture, and uh, I have them linked here. Uh, these are uh, usually linked to YouTube, so you can go and watch these, and uh, again, these are part of the lecture, so take a look at them, and uh, you'll see some questions and stuff sometimes referring to them. So every little unit is pretty much the same way. So make sure every week you spend some time. Uh, the lectures are uh, usually about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Uh, usually there might be two parts. Usually some of these last longer than that so make your sure you have some time to it and it's extremely important that you watch these all right uh, sometimes we have students who think that they can pass this course just by coming to lab and let me tell you it's not going to work <laughs> all right this is a rigorous course um, I usually lose about a quarter of my students so they usually withdraw mainly because of low grades so make sure you you look at that uh, at the, those lectures and watch those lectures and take notes during those lectures. Okay, all right. Now with communication, I have a uh, email. In fact, that's over here with the inbox. And so if you need to contact me, you can either send me a little uh, email through the the, the canvas. Um, or you can just send me a regular email through um, through uh, uh, the LBW, uh, uh, my email address for, through LBW. So that's an easy way to contact me. I'm not really good on the phone. Uh, I check my email a lot more often than I do my phone messages. So that's a, an easy way to contact me. Okay, I think that's about it. So welcome. Good luck to you. And I'm glad you've decided to take my class. All right.